Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. My name is Michaela. I'm a 22 year old foster mom making videos about motherhood, foster care, cooking, cleaning, lifestyles, all that fun stuff. Today is like my favorite video of the year. I love doing these videos. I did one last year, so I'll have it linked below. We've added a new member to the family since then. These are my favorite videos to watch. Even though I'm done Christmas shopping, I'm still watching them because I love them. I love to get good ideas and just see what everyone else is getting their kids. If you've been watching me, you know that I have a four-year-old foster son, a two-year-old foster son, and a 10-month-old foster daughter. She'll be 11 months at Christmas or about to turn 11 months at Christmas. This year, we have less under the tree than we ever have but that is because a lot of their gifts are more expensive, especially for the boys. And you'll kind of see what I mean later. A lot of their gifts are coordinating and their gifts are expensive. And we spent money-wise a lot less on our little girl than we did the boys, but that's just the age difference. She's just too little to know. We just didn't think that we wanted to go super crazy and have tons and tons of presents under the tree because just being honest, we don't have the space for it. And we just don't need anything they don't need anything they have tons and tons and tons of toys we're not people that never get them toys they have birthdays that are spread out throughout the year and every single gift that any of them gets they all share so they get gifts pretty much all year long and my family is very big like on holiday valentine's day easter all that stuff they get gifts for that every single year we didn't want to get them too too much and so i'm not going to ramble too much more i uh, will just get into the video and we did kind of follow the four gift rule but we did four gifts but we didn't do like what something to wear something to read something you want something you need something you to wear something to read we didn't follow that although it would have been cool but our little ones don't need clothes and they just honestly don't need anything i'm going to get into the boys first first thing they're both getting one and this is a big one they are getting the Oh, Amazon Fire 7 kids tablet comes with a protective case. Um, it is literally just for kids. This is the one that everyone recommends. We paid $70 for this on sale and it actually went on sale for $60 on Black Friday. So ugh, I could have saved $20 more, but it's okay. We still saved a lot off the original price. And like I said, I'm just like an early Christmas shopper and there's so many cool things that they can do with this. Lots of learning. Um, they constantly are begging for our phones and things like that just to play games and whatnot. So they're going to have their own and we do travel quite a bit. So this will be good for them in the car, hopefully. But that is a big gift. And we told ourselves last year that if they were still here this time this year, they were going to get tablets. So they got them. The next thing that they both got, it's, it's in this packaging. So both of the boys, um, like I said, our little ones are in foster care. They have seen some violence and things like that and have struggled with some like police issues and so gun issues and things like that. So we have been very eerie and not letting them have any guns, um, not even like toy Nerf guns or anything like that. And they have begged and begged and begged. And I think that they're finally ready for them. So we got them both a Nerf gun. Um, this came with, it's almost set of bullets, um, came in this box I was trying to get open to see if it was in another box, but it wasn't. So they got this Nerf gun. It's really nice. Hopefully they can cock it back. They each got one of those and then they each got a musical instrument. If you watch my Black Friday haul, you will have already seen this, but my four-year-old has been wanting a, a guitar, so he got this really cool Paw Patrol guitar, paid $9.99 for it. And those those guns were like $14.99, I think, on Amazon. Um, I'll have everything that I can possibly find linked down below, but he's going to love this little guitar. He's got a little one that he carries around, and he's been begging for one. So he's going to get that. And then my two-year-old is going to get this, like, drum set. It also was from Burks. It was $9.99. You'll see here, it's got, it goes around the neck, and it, it comes with a little thing to beat with and some maracas and a little trumpet and so it's like a whole little musical set it's on here i think that the, he'll really enjoy that we had debated getting them like an actual drum set and i'm just like one we don't have the room for it and one i don't know if mama has the patience for it so they got this instead and we'll start with that they have a couple of combined gifts which i did not include in their four gift roll thing their first one it goes with their nerf guns my husband went a little cuckoo for Cocoa Pebbles on this one. And he bought them all of these extra bullets. 
and oh yeah I think this is mostly for him because he intends to play Nerf guns with him I think he got himself one um and it's it's a good idea because they're gonna lose them they're gonna be everywhere um with this little case I guess you can put them all in there but there's a lot of Nerf guns I'm pretty sure he got a good deal on them I can't remember the price because he ordered that on his own but this big box they're gonna it's gonna go with their Nerf guns so the next thing I actually found at Rite Aid um it was originally $6.99 and they were half off on Black Friday so I got this on Black Friday but it was the I guess it was technically the Saturday after Black Friday that's why it wasn't included in my uh, Black Friday haul but it is this baby shark game and I have been wanting the kids to play board games but I'm just afraid they're a little too little for it yet right now and something that concerned me was the dice I was afraid they were going to throw them everywhere lose them and the dice is contained in this and so I it, I'm not actually sure how to play it it kind of looks like sorry to me the, the dice is contained in there so I'm thinking that this might be a good idea it says ages three and up so I'm hoping that they will be able to play this and this can kind of jump start them into playing games because I love 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 to play games and um, I hope I'm really looking forward to them getting into playing stuff like this and it's for three dollars and fifty cents if they can't play it now we'll hold on to it and they're of course obsessed with baby shark which, which toddler is not and the next thing I can't even show you because it's not here and even if it was here it would be too big for me to show you they're going to get this on Christmas. They're going to open it on Christmas. I'm going to insert a picture right here. So, as you can tell, they are going to be getting bug beds. Now, I'm kind of scared about this. Um, like I said, they're four and two. We really need the space is a huge reason why we're getting it. But also, I think they really, really, really want them. And we have tr tr we have issues at bedtime getting them to stay in their beds and to lay down. And if they would just lay down and be still, they go they would go to sleep a lot faster. But they literally will not lay down and be still and long enough to go to sleep to the point as where we're sitting in there, just like making them lay down until they go to sleep. So we just sit in there um, until they go to sleep. So I'm hoping that this will help with that and that they won't be getting up and down because there'll be twin beds and you know one's gonna be up top. So, but I'm a little bit worried about them playing on it and jumping on it and jumping off of it. So we're gonna have to set some really strict ground rules with this. I think they will really like it. Their toddler beds that we've got them are just kind of roughed up and beaten up. So I think it's time to get a new one. And if you don't have a toddler or don't use toddler beds, they come with the same mattresses that cribs do. And if you buy just the most generic crib mattress, it's like waterproof and it's not really comfortable. So now we're getting them the twin actual mattresses so hopefully it'll be a little bit softer maybe a little bit more comfortable for them and hopefully they'll sleep better on it in general and it'll last them a lot longer and it was a big purchase it was about two hundred dollars or give or take a little bit but it was a huge gift and we included it for christmas and i think they'll be really excited about it they're going to get new bedding from my mom and my dad and stepmom are actually buying the mattresses to go on it so it's kind of a joint family effort because it's expensive so that is what they're getting for christmas um santa is probably going to be bringing them the guitar and the um drum set either that or the nerf guns i'm not really sure yet but it's probably going to be um the instruments and now let's move on to our little girl. She is 10 months old. So she has four gifts as well. She really didn't have any toys. So that's really what we focused on on her. And so they, she got, I'm going to show this one first since it was in our Black Friday haul. But it is a teaching triangle. It came from Rite Aid. It was originally $9.99. I got it half off for five bucks. And it's just like it plays. There's a little mirror in the back if you can see that. Um, it has these little balls in it that shake and you know they have it does all kinds of cool things so I think that she'll really like this and play with it a lot so for five dollars you couldn't beat it the next thing we got for her is VTech we got it from Amazon it's just one of those like push down toys it actually it lights up and makes a lot of so it does a lot of cool things. I think she'll really like that. And it's something super easy that she can play with. And hopefully she'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. The next thing we got, I'm so excited about. It's actually Leapfrog, but it also came from Amazon. My little girl loves to hit stuff. She loves to smack stuff. So we got her this drum. And when is age does it say? I can't even remember. It says to, from 6 to 36 months. But you bang on it and it lights up and it plays music. And I think she will 
absolutely die for this. I think this was about $15. Like I said, I'll have it linked below for sure on this one. But it is Leapfrog and it's got colors and it's got music and I and it talks it tells you the colors, so it's kind of a learning tool as well. I just think it was so fun, especially for a little girl that loves to hit things. <laughs> Lastly for her, she she doesn't really sit still to watch anything on all on TV. Like nothing at all. <laughs> so but the one thing that she does like to watch is Peppa Pig. And I forget which video I saw on here. It was a What I Got My Kids For Christmas video that she was getting her little girl this. But it is a stuffed Peppa Pig. And our little girl loves to eat stuff. And she mostly likes to eat like fluffy things like this. So I think she'll really like this. But also an oinks. And apparently sleeps. Yeah, sleep and oink Peppa Pig. So I think she'll like that it makes noise and it's really soft. And so I think she'll kind of drag this around and carry this around with her for a while. That is it. Not, I guess I'm probably going to say um, that the VTech toy was from Santa. Um, I'm not really sure. I, she's not really going to pay attention, but the boys will be paying attention to see which gift Santa brought her. But that is all they're getting. Um, I'm also going to be doing a stocking stuffer video. We spent more on their stockings this year than we ever have. And... Um, I usually go to the Dollar Tree. I get everything from the Dollar Tree. I don't buy anything that's not from the Dollar Tree from their stockings. And I kind of strayed from that this year, mostly because I didn't find anything for our little girl at the Dollar Tree for her stocking. And so I decided that I would just pick things up all under $5. So keep an eye out for that video because that is coming up really, really soon. And it'll be all, everything will be under $5 that I'm, I purchased. The stocking will not be $5 total, but... That video is coming up so she's going to be getting some other stuff in that as well as well as the boys and we are not people that just fill up their kids stockings with candy they get little toys and stuff in there as well so they've got a little bit more they'll probably work be more excited about things in their stocking to be honest because they're just not super huge on the big toys but they needed a lot of things like the bed and the tablets and stuff like that so i think that they'll be excited that is what they're getting from us, we also try not to get too, too much because we go to a lot of different people's houses for thanks for Thanksgiving, for Christmas. We go to my mom's, we go to my grandparents, we go to my dad's, so, and we go to my husband's families as well. So they get gifts, a ton of gifts. I don't see any point for getting them like 10 gifts each because they're going to be getting that and more and with all of our other family. So they get, this year they got four gifts each. So I'm really excited. And I'm really liking this kind of minimal Christmas because last year was so ridiculous. They spent so much time opening presents. They were literally just like ripping the paper off. They're like, okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? Okay, what's next? And they didn't play with half of it. And a lot of it was because they had only lived with us for about a month and we weren't exactly sure what they were into and um, what was going to be the best for them. But they didn't play with half of their toys from last year just because they, they had so many of them. And it's like they got confused like they were just like I think they were overwhelmed with how many gifts they got and they didn't actually get to pay attention to the gifts that they got so we tried to put a little bit more thought into each and every single one of their gifts this year and make every one of them really mean something and that is definitely something we know that they're going to use because we don't want to buy toys that take up space just for them not to play with and thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys got some good ideas if you did comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing for each was and what age your kids are and like what kind of stuff you would be getting for them i love watching videos on what like older kids are getting because they're going to grow up and so i just like to plan ahead and kind of know around what age they're going to be interested in certain things. Thanks again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I've got a lot of fun stuff coming all of Christmas and you don't want to miss it. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.